This is the second battle between Nubes and Blade Master. Blade Master commanding the Ostrogothic Kingdom this time, and the Saxons being commanded by Nubes. I quite like watching Blade Masters, Blade Masters battles because there's usually something interesting happening in them, and I'm glad he sent me these two battles because they've been fun to watch. I haven't watched this one, but I just assume it's going to be fun. So for Swebby and uh, Blade Master here, we have four noble horse. We have two Skolle. Medi they are medium melee cavalry. Uh, quite uh, decent stats on these guys. They lack a bit of armor, but their offensive stats are more than decent. Then we have the Comes, the uh, medium melee cavalry general. Or is something screwed up about my names here? Elite Sagittari. Yeah, there's something screwed up about my names, uh, no doubt. Elite Sagittari, the... Or, or is something screwed up about my names? Um, I must admit that... No, of course, of course. This is because I don't have the DLC. Sorry about that. This is the Ostrogothic Kingdom, of course. And I totally messed up that intro, but I'm not going to make it again. <laughs> So there we have it. This is the Ostrogothic Kingdom. This is why they have the Roman names on them. Veterans here with their uh, pretty decent decent stats. Then we have Gothic Pikes. More veterans, two of each. Four Elite Sagittari. They are armored, uh, armored archers with a few abilities. Now for the Saxons here, we have uh, Nordic Horse Lords for those, of course. Uh, been seeing some more of these heroic. The, the nice thing about of the, about the Saxons when there are max six cavalry on the field is that they can still bring two more heavy melee cavalry because of the heroic cavalry, and all of these cavalry units have the headhunt ability, so they will stay in the fight even if they're losing badly and should be routing. You can pop headhunt, and they will fight to the last man or at least for thirty seconds. Then we have four Nordic Axe Warriors, we have four Nordic Warriors, and no Skirmishers for the Saxons this time. So let's see if Blade Master is able to use his Pikes and Archers to good effect here, because he is outmatched in Cavalry, he is outmatched in Infantry. His only two options will, his only options really will be to outplay Nubes here, or to use Javelins to take care of to take care of the cavalry of Nubes and, and his skirmishers to take care of these um, these very dangerous axes. However, at the frontier we have Nordic Brigades and four Nordic Brigades. These will be able to make a push and just go ahead, throw their precursors, do, do some damage, but more importantly, start the blobbing. And if these Nordic Brigades are able to push at the archers and to stop some of this cavalry from getting charges. The Saxon cavalry and Saxon infantry is just going to roll all over the these uh, these uh, Ostrogoths here. Quite a difficult situation Blade Master finds himself in. Already he's putting his pikes up front here as as speed bumps, which is a good idea, dissuading the shock cavalry, uh, dissuading the cavalry and the um, the Nordic brigades, but. The thing is, though, that even just by precursors alone, Nordic brigades and Nordic uh, warriors here, which is smart enough to push up, they can do a lot of damage here against these pikes and essentially remove them as a threat. And the, the infantry of Blade Master will disintegrate when it hits these Nordic axe warriors. So uh, I like what Nubes is doing here. Actually, he's putting his putting his uh, Nordic warriors up front. They have the best armor and shields. And he's actually going to use those as frontline infantry, not his uh, Nordic brigades. Interesting choice there by Nubes. These archers not getting any kills yet. Very patient here is Nubes. And yep, he's going to use his precursors to, to remove the pikes right away. And, and uh, the Nordic brigade also firing their pikes. Uh, firing their, um, their javelins. And here we have an engagement, we have the 
the noble horsemen charging into Nordic warriors. Uh, getting a few kills, but nothing major at the moment. And since the Gothic Pikes got orders to move back, they are now being attacked in the rear. But this this Nordic warrior is just going to disintegrate when it gets hit with the cavalry of Blade Master. So for the time being, Blade Master is holding out here. And uh, I wonder how long Nubes can afford to stay at this range and eat the fire of Blade Master. Elite Sagittarius starting to get some kills, killing off some Nordic warriors using heavy shot, no doubt. A precision and rapid. So here comes the here comes the uh, Nordic horse lords, the gold Nordic horse lords, riding into the pikes and into a hail of into a hail of uh, fire. They do manage to get into the javelin man. And the Nordic Axe Warriors will do well here. And oh, very nice charge with the Nordic Horse Lords in the gap in the line of Blade Master here. Following up with Nordic Brigade. And Nordic Brigade don't have the best offensive stats, but they will do a nice job in a blob like that. Nordic Axe Warriors breaking through the center. Here come the Nordic Brigade charging into veterans in Shield Wall. This is not going to end well for the Nordic Brigade at all. But the Saxons are moving around the flanks here of, of Blade Master, and although the I'm sure this uh, these veterans are going to hold out, they are going to be locked in place by very cheap units for for some time. Blade Master moving up here in the shield wall, but there are so many axe units piling in here, and this this unit of noble horsemen just disappears, being charged by axes and Nordic warriors. So very smartly done here by Nubes in sending in his cheap units to hold the veterans and although they're not really getting any kills It allows him to overpower the flanks of Blade Master because Blade Master once again He doesn't have the infantry support for the follow-up here and when there are these many Nordic Axe units You you need something to deal with them nice kills on the elite Sagittari But I uh, don't really see how Blade Master is going to fix this because so much, so much support. We have cavalry smashing now into the veterans that were held by the Nordic Brigade. And having those throwaway units, such a, such a great unit to have. I prefer Nordic Band, actually. But the two precursors are nice for the Nordic Brigade. Especially if you can manage to get them to throw both of them against cavalry. And the Noble Horsemen are not going to do well against Horse Lords and Nordic Brigade. The Blade Master getting his his uh, Comes general in here against Nordic Horse Lords. But fleeing. the Saxons are breaking through all over the battlefield. It's just a matter of time before these units of Blade Master are surrounded and summarily destroyed. So when you have when you have um, an infantry strong faction with decent cavalry support like the Saxons are Going no skirmish can actually work and be a pretty decent idea. Because you have the super super cheap uh, Nordic band and Nordic brigades. So essentially bringing three lines of infantry here was... was... Um, was... Um, Nubes and, and it paid off for him fairly well. Charge into two elite Sagittari and the elite Sagittari just disappear. The general of uh, the general of uh, Nubes is about to get killed here, probably being fired upon by something. And um, the the Nordic brigade uh, actually start wavering, and the Nordic horse lords as well. So uh, the noble horsemen are actually winning this engagement amazingly enough. But balance of power here means that Blade Master's men are lives. going to. Route off the field for him. So valiant defeat there by Blade Master. Uh, Nubes. Nubes takes it. These veteran kills are slightly inflated because they were mainly on these uh, Nordic, Nordic brigades and um, the. Uh, just let's just have a look at, at the at the Saxons for a minute. And and the cavalry of Blade Master does a decent job, but the cavalry of um, Nubes did much better, and it had uh, it had the infantry support needed. Although the kills on the archers here are fairly nice, uh, Blade Master played pre uh, paid premium for these elite Sagittari, and 
and uh, Nubes was able to, although he didn't have skirmishers, he was able to deal with the pikes very well, and all of his units, aside from the Nordic raid leader, has precursors. So although this is a uh, pure melee build, there is some precursor precursor um, power there for him when he needs to take care of pikes, and he did just that. So the cool thing about the Saxons, if there are max 4 of the same unit type restrictions in place, you can have Nordic Band, uh, you can have the the Nordic Horse Lords, the fairly cheap Nordic Horse Lords. If you don't want to bring the Heroic Cavalry, if you want to bring some cheap shock, these Saxon Lancers are not great units by any stretch of the imagination. But they do work as cheap shock cavalry. So you have you have um, the ability to bring a lot of cheap units. You can even upgrade, I usually don't recommend this, but you can even upgrade some of them to elite Nordic warriors and still have some funds to spare. Now, a more standard thing to do would probably be to go with go with some slingers here, but the thing the thing with the slingers is that you, at some point, you want to close range with these units. You don't want to stay at the distance for for too long. So, in that sense, and for their holding power, bringing in some bringing in some uh, some of these Nordic brigades makes sense. And and you're paying twenty extra here for for um, for one extra ammunition and a bit of combat ability. And and I think that's that's actually worth it. So reducing the quality on on some of these, reducing the quality on some of these um, on some of the cavalry allows you to bring the elite Nordic warriors instead. Now, if you want to have even more sturdiness in your infantry, you can bring the very cheap, very good Saxon Horth Guard, and uh, then you can also bring some Nordic warriors. Which gives you, um, or maybe just, maybe like this. And this gives you the option to have, now you have, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 infantry units, 6 cavalry units. The Nordic Brigades rush any skirmishers, try to hold anything for as long as they can. The Nordic Warriors up the center together with Nordic Axe and Hearthguard will support the flank. So the Saxons can be deceptively powerful in in um, in this patch and, and especially when you start to when you start to have restrictions for of the same unit type because then the Saxons can bring both their shock infantry, their decent cost effective melee infantry and also some dirt cheap throwaway infantry that not many factions can bring and these can also work as a charge deterrent for cavalry because it's not really worth it eating potentially eating two volleys of javelins to get rid of a unit that costs 120. Thanks Blade Monster, good game, strength and honor.